Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today I have an envelope punch board project and it is specially designed to hold something special inside. And every person in the UK knows exactly what that sound is. That is a box of Maltesers in there. So I'm going to open it up because I need this one. I only have one box and it was a gift to me for Mother's Day and I've been so good. It was kind of prettily wrapped by my husband and children, but uh, just to prove that it holds the box of Maltesers. There you go. So I'm just going to close this one up because I need this box to fit inside the next one that I'm going to make with you now. And Maltesers is one of those great gifts that you give to people, um, you know, really just for no reason other than maybe to say thank you or I'm thinking of you. So, or oh, Mother's Day. It's always good for Mother's Day. But because it's an envelope punching project, we need the EPB. And you need a piece of cardstock or paper that measures nine and five eighths of an inch by nine and five eighths of an inch, which is 24 point, 24.4 centimetres? 24.4 centimetres by 24.4. I can't read my notes. So the first punch and score line comes at three. Now you can see it's not going to fit onto the paper, uh, or fit onto the board itself, but don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to come around and fix that in a minute. So you punch and score at three, but don't go off the edge and at five and one eighth, which is just here, there is just, I don't know if you can see that, there are little grooves here, and there happens to be the extra eighth of an inch, just there, um, which is 13.1 centimeters. Sorry, the first one is seven and a half centimeters and 13.1, so five and an eighth, punch and score, and then you turn it, oops, not once, but twice, and come in and do the same again. So you punch and score at three inches, and I turn my phone off, that's gonna cheer up at me, and slide it up to five and one eighth of an inch, punch and score. And if you turn your paper over and turn it, you will see where we can join up these lines. So you need to pop back in to the three inch mark, punch and score, and that's joined that line up there. 180 degrees round, you can see because it's only oh, it's, it's oh, four fifths of the way, so we need to just join it up. So it's only the one at the three eighth, three inch mark. Okay, so that's them joined. Turn it back over, and now, like you would make a traditional envelope, we're going to follow these scored lines to create our box sides. So punch and score. That one's already punched, so I just need to score. 180 degrees all the way round. And punch, oops, and score. That one's already punched, so we just need to score. And then round the corners. And then I can put my punch board away. So I'm just gonna pop that to one side for one second. So I want to do the stamping. Now, as I said before, you know, Maltesers are kind of one of those gifts that, you know, great for any occasion, great for anything you're thinking of, you know, just, or rather to give to somebody you just thought of them for no kind of apparent reason. So I chose Yippie Skippy because it's got all these great sentiments um, or great phrases with it. And I've gone for this one. You can never have too much happy. Love it. So I've got Daffodil Delight ink here. This is old olive, this polka dot prey paper, and this was Daffodil Delight here. So I decided to keep with the sort of summary theme. So ready on my block. And, oh, I've jumped that. Let's try that again. That's better. And I'm gonna punch this using the decorative label punch, which is this fabulous punch. I love it. But I want to keep it sort of, I suppose kind of to the left so that I've got room to put the flowers on the side. I still need this. And my flowers I've punched using the Boho Blossoms punch, which is, it basically punches all three in one go. This is Marina Mist, the blue. Um, but this time I'm going to punch them out in white and I'm going to sponge all of it up. So, into the ink, all the way around. And then these flowers as well, just around the edges of all of these. I love that. One punch and you've got three flowers immediately. Brilliant. And I'm going to lift those up by 
using the back of a paper piercer onto my spongy mat. There we go, that's all those lifted. Now this one I put the daffodil delight into the flowers, but I'm going to I've got an excess of old olive candy dots. So I'm going to put those ones into these. That's kind of fun, that's quite sweet, isn't it? Not that you would normally have green on the inside of a flower, particularly a daisy type colour. But it's okay. It's creative. Oops, position that slightly better. And then I'm going to quickly build this box up. So fold on all your score lines. And I want the nice crisp edge, so I'm going to burnish these. Fold all of these all the way around. Oops. just cut into these bits that are either side of the wider section so obviously there's a wider triangle here and a smaller one over here so you cut into the ones that are to the left and right of your widest triangle and then that means that it will close easier for you and then some snail onto these little tab parts or sticky strip or you know your adhesive of choice I like the snail for punchable projects, particularly when they're paper. Um, a snail works perfectly well with sticking paper to paper. It doesn't like, a snail doesn't like card to card um, when it's a 3D project that is. It's okay when it's card to card and it is a card. But on a 3D project it's not so, not so keen. But snail is perfectly good for this. Box of Maltese, I can't believe they're not even open. That's so good of me isn't it? It will fit beautifully inside, fold the sides in, those bits over. And I used Daffodil Delight for this box. I'm going to do the same again because I wanted the double, I wanted it to fold over. Oh, I wanted it to fold over and come underneath. And seam binding ribbon sits nicely flat here, something like. Um, I suppose one of our chevron ribbons, it wouldn't sit as flat. Not really anyway. So I'm, just gonna, I'm going to tie a knot today. Because battling seam binding ribbon, me and bows, it's just not pretty. There we go. And then I can add all of these bits. So I want some dimensionals for the back of here. So I have a couple on here. Down at the bottom and then these I'm going to lift them all up with um, mini glue dots which are my favourites. So I'll position the biggest one first I think and the smaller one. I wish I put the tiniest one down there I think and that is so cute isn't that lovely? Box of Martins is dressed up to look beautiful and I hope you like it and I'm going to eat these soon. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Hope to speak to you soon. Bye.